Oh, hello, mic check one two one two. Too legit sitting on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? It's the boy me, Too Legit City, and we're back. And today we're gonna be starting the super classic run. <clears throat> something in my throat or something? I don't know. I think we're okay. We got Mamba right there. Let me adjust the camera. Mamba's napping. Mamba's napping. Y'all know what it is. Mamba does what he does. And of course, hope everyone's doing good today. Hope everyone is having a good Tuesday. Tuesday with your boy too legit. Only way to do it. But of course, I see you guys over there flew on. What's good, Kate Cut Tomba Twitch? FRD Dot. Hope you guys are doing well. We got Zip Zip as well. Did I miss it? Why why is everything highlighted in chat? Feels bad, man. But I hope everyone's doing good today. If I didn't say your name, hope you guys are doing well as well. Everybody asked, what is the Super Classic run? So Super Classic, the challenge run, is a run that I've created where the challenges, we have to survive 365 cycles is the goal for the achievement one year to be exact. And with the secondary objective of doing Home Sweet Home. So those are going to be the two objectives that we're going to try to do in that time span. Now, the rules are, you could start on any planetoid of your choosing. Um, you get any number of dupes, but because of Home Sweet Home, there's a minimum amount. Uh, I think it's 12 dupes, right? 16 more out. And what the goal is, is you cannot use any geyser on the planet. If there is already a open geyser, you cannot use that as well. You have to seal it up, and then whatever it's already made, that's fine. But the moment you discover it, you need to try to work your way towards it and seal it up so you can't tap into it. After that, um, you cannot use the teleporter. So you can't leave the first planetoid. And you also cannot fly out with a rocket outside of the initial orbit circle. So you could still get all the tech if that's what you want to do. And then... Uh, you have to just kind of make it work on the first planet. Now, of course, that means it's a survival game. And then you have to play on the spaced out start. I feel like if you do classic start, it's going to be too easy. But this is a DLC. We're going to play with the story traits, of course. And then we got to pick a planet toy. So it's only thing that matters is the starting planet. And since geysers don't matter, what we're looking for more so is like the world traits. Moonlit start. No, man, I, I don't want to lose. <laughs> I don't want to lose. Yeah, if no plastic, no space tag. We have to get Drekos. Drekos and Mealwood. If not, I need oil. <laughs> and I need a, a good amount of oil. I don't think Slixers are going to give me enough oil, to be honest. I probably don't want magma because although it's nice to have I don't think we have a purpose for it that early in the game the moonlit starts if I, if it's like I think we get a lot of ice right and then we get a lot of uranium but you're you're not like how do I say this it's not designed for you to survive it's designed for you to like know how to play the game utilize everything so teleport early rockets you know start traveling stuff like that so i don't think we're going to do any of the uh, difficult difficult ones so there are three ideal clusters we have this one which is the marsh the verdante we just did verdante irregular oil uh, we cannot use oil wells and leaky oil fissures. So those are going to be considered biomes. Or it has no oil biome. That's true too. Typically doesn't have oil biome. Hmm. Oil on the floor, that's fine. You could use it. But you know the leaky oil fissure? You know how it constantly builds or constantly releases oil? We have to stop that from releasing and put it in a box. 
and then everything in the box we cannot use. What's already on the ground we can use. And you cannot ignore it. You can't be like, oh, I'm just gonna let it stockpile and then I'll steal it up afterward. Now nah, it's gonna be a little bit too cheating. If you discover it, but you can't reach it because you don't have abyssalite mining, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> right, like that happens. You can't reach it because you don't have the tech. But yeah, we could grab the oil on the ground like that. All right, so there's Terra. I don't want to do this because we did this on base the Mamba. And then there's the Marsh. Now, this is the only one where the D20 kind of matters. We have the Metal Swamp. We have the regular Marsh. I don't think I want to do this because I don't get a jungle biome. Right? Because I think we get Sulfur on this one. I actually want to scout this. I mean, slime molds mix boulders. That's kind of whatever is. We're not going to take this, by the way. I, I just want to check it out. What's going on, original Moo? I guess you could make a indefinitely sustainable colony with wild planted arbitraries if you wanted. That's the thing. You theoretically can but you have to have a lot of things going right because all that you can do that the amount of space you need for something that large is going to take up most of the map at the same time you have to make sure that you could survive up until that point right so you could try to do that but make sure you have everything else you need right because that chain of process like using arbitraries Oh no, we got a bot. Come on, man. First time chatter is a bot. But yeah, it's going to take a long time. I mean, theoretically, that's possible. Just like how theoretically I could have uh, duplicates stressed out and cry for water and use that water of their tears to make oxygen. I don't know. We have to get to that point first. Gotta take flatulent dupes? No, man. No. That's not gonna be something I'll do. Flatulent dupes are bad still. That sounds mean, though. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Although that was the super classic strat. <laughs> that was the super classic strat. Sorry about that, guys. I have to mute the mic because I was coughing a little bit. All right, so I am going to check out this plateau. We're not going to play on it. I just want to get uh, something with not a lot of modifiers so I can check it out. Because I don't remember what biomes are natural in here. They fart enough to be annoying, but they don't fart enough to be usable. <laughs> like, that's the truth, man. That's the thing about flatulent dupes. They're at that point where it's just bad. <laughs> We're not playing this run yet, guys. We're not playing this run yet. More nosh beans. What's going on, Bubba Feta? I see you over there. <clears throat> Would be cool if there was a spice that made all dupes fart huge amounts. I don't know if people like flatulence, man. I want to say that's like overall something that's generally just not a liked. They don't think be like it is, but a do. All right, so what was in here? Oh, so we do have Drekos. Nice. 
Ha, we got the guy. Cool steam vent, somnium synthesizer. We got an achievement. Let's go. Or, you know, if you could make a Beano anti-flatulent dupe. Or med, there we go. I was like, what? A dupe that's anti-flatulence? Does that mean they just attack people that are flatulent? Feels bad, man. Dude, I got all three traits. Critifluxomatic. We got this guy. And then we got the Somnium. Okay, I don't want that on my starting planet. Because that just takes up space. <laughs> that just takes up space. I don't need any of this. This could be cool. The Somnium Synthesizer, we don't need. Because we're not going to have enough dupes to manage that. And then this guy, it's kind of just like, I guess we could help him out, but we're probably not going to deal with them. I'm not going to be able to make all the food. What a cool idea to get water from crying dupes. We're not going to do it. Don't worry. We're not going to do it. Although that was the super classic strat. Oh, I see the problem with this planet. Critter Flux is the best, easily, yeah. You could demolish that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you know what sucks? I don't think we get Mealwood here. <laughs> I don't think we get Mealwood. We get the Tool Water Geysers, classic. But there's no Mealwood. Meaning that I don't get Glossies. Magma Core, we got the uh, Rock Biome at the bottom. I'm probably going to do Terra Start. I'm thinking about it, guys. I want to have that solid start set up. Because this gives us Grud Fruit, but we can't survive off of that. Because there's never enough Sulfur. It also speeds it up. Theoretically, like if you want to get a Glossy from the start, it could be not bad. Second planet, probably. Yeah, I can't go to the second planet, though. No second planet. And it's you're probably right. It is probably over there. Yep. I see the mealwood already. We got the oil, slicksters. We got a little bit of rust ethanol. We got the frozen friend, saltwater geyser. Oh, the double Frozen Friends. Y'all see that? We got two Frozen Friends. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. So, what the hell? We get a second one in Abyssalite? That's so random. What can Glossies eat? Bristle Blossoms, Balm Lily, and Mealwood. But, Mealwood is the only plant that makes them into a Glossy. The other things don't change their egg laying chance. Yeah, this, this is a weird corner. The magma just kind of uh, runs out. And then it's an oil biome. And then in between the oil biome is a rust biome that's cold. It's really weird. Not sure about lily. Regulars do. Oh. Do glossies not eat lilies? Glossies don't eat lilies. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, the regular Drekos eat Mealwood, Bombly, and Pinchas. And then Glossies eat Bristles and Mealwood. My bad, my bad. You're right, you're right. Alright, so I think we need Terra Start. Let's go, you guys. Let's get it started. Alright, Terra Start. I don't think D20 matters. I mean, we'll still do it, though. So, all story traits. And then... Everything else is here. Stress teleporters. Let's turn this off. No teleporters. No, I'll leave it on. I'll leave it on. Default settings, right? We just won't use it. We'll take Kaykun's uh, D20 of 16. Do you have to place clusters or can you play classic map? Mm, for the challenge, we cannot play classic. We have to play spaced out. And we cannot leave the planet. So we have to stay on the starting planet that's small. That's part of the challenge. I think I would have the perfect seed for base game. 
what's the challenge this time super classic so guys we're going to be doing the super classic challenge super classic is going to mean that we cannot leave the starting planet we cannot use a teleporter we cannot use geysers we if we find an already open geyser we have to seal it up and that's going to be the challenge we're going to try to survive for 365 cycles for the achievement one year to be exact and we're going to have a secondary achievement of trying to do home sweet home that means we're gonna have to build a great monument get 16 more rounds 12 dupes all of course by around cycle 200 so this is gonna be the challenge run uh no geysers and we're just gonna try to survive 365 cycles so of course you could use any amount of dupes that you want but in order to get home sweet home you got to get 12 dupes right so that's gonna be part of the challenge and we'll see how long we can last so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. We get no traits on the first planetoid, as always. And let's go. Oh, is that the classic no water geyser challenge on Badlands? Isn't there one cool steam vent on the bottom right hand side? And that's literally it. I remember something like that. I remember. Oh no! Guys, they never updated the mods. No, I have to roll properly. Hold up, guys. I'm sorry. We got to redo this. It's still not updated. No, DGSM, please. DGSM, please. I gotta check the workshop. I don't wanna roll for 30 minutes, man. <laughs> There's another mod. Is Oni no longer maintaining mods, man? Last updated in June. The mod author of that mod is kinda scuffed. I gotta roll less than ideal, I do. What do you guys mean scuffed, though? Their updates are behind the paywall. Oh, that's gross. That's really gross. Yeah, I'm not going to download the other mod just because of that. Do you imagine copying someone else's mod, updating it, and then putting a paywall on top? Dude, that's really gross. And deletes negative comments. Oof. Oh, God. Yeah, we're, we're sticking with this. I don't even want to know the name of that mod. That's that's so gross. That's so gross. Wait a second. Wait a second. Really? Really? So this mod I'm using is the one you guys are talking about. Not yet, Elthar, not yet. I, I, I want to see if I have to roll manually. This is gross, man. Either way, we got to roll Thug Life. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Got you guys, got you guys. We'll just roll, we'll just roll. It's fine. Nah, I don't want to do that. That's too much work. I don't want to roll back the game to use the mod. 
We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll start the game now. That's just that's just surprising, man. That's just surprising. Ultra Mega Classic started is it's it's so classic. We got to roll like we used to. What's going on, anime? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. One, two, three, four. Let's go, boys. Doesn't really matter because the traits don't really change. Everything here is default. We got the story traits on, and let's go. Okay, super classic. We even got a roll like it's super classic. All right, first person we need is a researcher, right? Classic. Now, the thing with this guy is I don't even know if I need him to be a rocket pilot anymore. Right? Theoretically, I don't actually know if we need him to be a rocket pilot. Because the thing is, is that it's not like we're going to have him go to do rocketry stuff. I guess it's nice to have... But I also want a third trait. Because the thing is, is I do think we need to do data banks in order to do the great monuments, I think. Right? Don't we need data banks in order to do... So you know that circle around your star map? You can't leave that circle, but we could launch a rocket. If that makes sense. Because we could immediately land and it doesn't use a movement tile. That's what I'm uh, allowing for the the run. It does take space research. Okay, so we do need rocket piloting. Okay. Ideally, they'll give me rocket piloting and operating or something like that. <laughs> we got it, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Researching rocketry operating. Just as I said it. This guy's pacifist. That's cool, but he's stylish. That's a plus. Next guy we're going to get is Mechatronics. Build Supply Operating. This is going to take years for us to roll, man. Guys, how's the weather? Hope you guys have some nice weather where you guys are at. So close. Data banks are necessary. They are. Come on, build supply operating. Let me get the perfect dupe. Kind of chilly here. Yo, feels bad at me. Got to wear socks. That's how you know it's cold. Expecting a hard freeze later this week. Man, you guys get a bunch of snowstorms, man. That's crazy. It feels like you guys get the worst of the weather. When it's hot, it gets hot. When it's cold, it snows. Is steam down right now? No. It's, I think it's up. I am in sock. That's how you know it's cold. If you're actually wearing socks inside of the house, that's how you know it's cold. Could be colder if you ask me, but cooler than 40C for most of the year. Lol. Hey, I see you over there. 40 celsius is 40 celsius is pretty hot man just saying <laughs> 40 celsius is pretty hot come on let me get a good combo Build supply, operating, researching. Come on, man. Dude, they're going to give me build supply operating and like the worst trait. Flatulent, anemic, slow learner or something. I'm going to be so mad. Doctoring, of course. Steam's broken right now. According to uh, Urzrak, is it is it down? I can't tell. No, <laughs> I try to 
I try to launch a second copy of Oxygen Not Included, even though I'm already running it. I, I can't tell if it's down or not, because I'm, I'm, I'm playing in it, no problem. I'll pray to the AC goes every day, lol. I see you over there, Bubba Feta, man. Stay cool, dude. You gotta pray to the AC gods. Shows down in all regions. Oh, man. There was a builder with a mechatronics pre skilled. Oh, no, I don't want that. Actually, that probably could have been pretty good. I wasn't I wasn't checking for that, though. Dude, super duper hard digging. That, that actually probably could have been good enough. Damn, I wasn't paying attention to the traits. Never lucky. We're never going to get it, boys. Part of me wants to give up. They're giving me the dig skill, though, like every time. And I'm getting bottomless stomach reappearing really often. Build supply rocketry. Classic. Store and workshop doesn't load. What are you looking for? Build supply operating. So that we get a natural mechatronics uh, skill guy. Build supply is probably good enough. Because that's, that's the main combo. I only want operating because it gives me mechatronics. What's going on, Critter? I see you over there. So, good evening, legit. What's a super classic challenge mean? I got you. Hi there, new game. What's going on, Zombok? Yes, new game, new challenge. The new challenge is super classic. And this is a throwback to when there was no geysers in the game. So, back in the day, before they introduced water geysers and all geysers in general, you still had oxygen on included. So... Uh, for the most part, we're going to be playing with no geysers. We cannot use geysers. You cannot open them up. If there is already a open geyser, like the cool steam vent is the most common one, we have to seal that up so we can't use it. Second challenge, we cannot leave the starter planet. So we're playing Spaced Out Start on the Spaced Out DLC. That's part of the challenge. You cannot choose Classic or just Base Game. And that means we have to small map. That small map is going to mean that we have limited space and the goal is survive. We need to survive as long as we can with the goal being we need to hit 365 cycles for the achievement one year to be exact. Second thing we have to do is do home sweet home. The achievement where we have to have 12 dupes, 16 morale, uh, great monument. So those are going to be the achievements that we're going to be trying to get, and those are going to be the challenges we're going to be trying to do. So we're starting on the Terra planet, because I want to say that helps us, but I'm not sure. And then from there, we're just going to try to make sure it's uh, we survive. <laughs> do the best we try to, but I don't know if we can, right? So everything I said surviving the 365 cycles and all that, I don't know if it's possible. It just sounded like a good challenge. Because we're not using um, geysers, I don't know how much that limits our playthrough, right? Because that means we have to melt all the ice if we have any. So we're not going to be mining ice if we could avoid it, we will. And then we're not going to have a stable spawn outside of, you know, using the bathroom water stuff. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, that's part of the challenge, right? Gotcha, Urzak. Played a bit. Never made it too far into it. Let me know if you have any questions, man. I'll be happy to help. No geyser challenge. What? Yep, that's the challenge. No geysers. Tepidizers at last. You know what I'm actually going to do for I'm just going to build a spawn. Not, not a real spawn. I'm just going to build an electrolyzer. Inside the ice biome and have that manually melts. 
<laughs> That's probably the best thing to do. Yo, Fed coming in already? Elthar, man. I guess if you want in as well, you could just get on the queue. I know you said that you wanted to uh, add in a dupe right now. It lags heat output a bit. That's true. That's true. Got to slow melt that. I think the challenge is doable and we'll do fine. We'll see. We'll see. We'll have to see. Dude, that digging skill every time. Sounds like a cool challenge. Yeah, if we could do it, I'll probably try to challenge all the other streamers to do it too. And of course, this is because uh, Echo Ridge challenged us for the 50 for 50. So we're, we got to make our own challenge and challenge them back. Trying to figure out how to self-sustain without guys. Yeah, that's the hard part, though. Is that even doable? Is there like a balancing point that you have to not go over in terms of duplicate counts? Because theoretically, you're only able to provide as much space as you have. And with the spaced out start, you have a smaller start. Which that usually means you don't want to grow too large. But, you know, we'll have to see, right? What the things are going to be. Still rolling, boys. Still rolling. Classic starts. You can't call it a classic without manually rolling everything, man. Exosuit training. Come on, man. I need mechatronics. Build supply. Come on, dude. One time, build supply operating. Never lucky, man. Never lucky. Is there a starting uh, space out planet with force and oil? I think the second planet. There is a force start. I don't know about oil, though. That's the problem. There's a force there. I just don't know about the oil. What strat else than uh, other than arbitraries could be a good approach? I'm not sure. It's like rolling for a dupe in Rimworld with Brawler, Nimble, and Tough. <laughs> Dude, you, you do Brawler, Nimble, and Tough, and then they're like unable to use ranged weapons. I mean, unable to use melee weapons. That'd be an ultimate meme. Or that's that's not a ch that's not a thing, right? Yeah, it's not a thing. All right, guys, I think it's time to give up. I think we're just going to take a normal build supplier. Because at the end of the day, build supplying is kind of where it's at. Alright, build supply would increase construction. I don't mind that. That's fine. We don't get a mechatronics guy. This guy is ranching. We're going to have him ranch and dig. No bottomless stomach though. Ranch dig tidy. Ranch build tight. That's really close. Bottom of the stomach is not going to help us. We do need them to have digging skill. Rocketry. That's so random. Oh, perfect. He gets tidying, digging, and ranch. Perfect. That's so good. Noodle arm, that's fine. I could live with that, man. It's gonna be okay. I don't want to sit here for 30 minutes rolling this again. I don't know how often I'm gonna get this combo, right? This is everything I want. Ranching, digging, and tidy. This is really... This kind of sucks, but it's like not that bad. All right, cleaning the bathrooms are going to be a pain for this guy in the beginning. All right, so this is going to be called the 365 Mamba. No. It's a new branch start. New branch start. Uh, Ricardo, this is with the current update. Yes, spaced out start. With all the new updates and all that. I need a name, boys. I need a name. Something Mamba, right? Because that's got to be the name. Uh, one year Mamba. 
super classic Mamba. Super classic Mamba. Super classic Mamba for the super classic challenge. I think that's it. All right, we're ready. Mamba's in the back. He's napping. The OG Mamba. That's pretty good. He won't get slicksters until he discovers them. Oof. No, no slicksters, boys. That's fine though. The cat snack. Let's go. All right, let's get it in, boys. All right, and then let's see. The first guy that went it in was Fed. Fed, which dupe would you like? Let me know. Elthar, I remember you said you wanted in as well. Let me know which dupe you want. Also, you could use your points now. Ah, oh, we got the teleporter up top already. That cuts into my algae. Feels bad. Maybe glossy Dracos, plastic naphtha, natural gas, water O2. But I don't know if the numbers really work out. <laughs> Melting plastic. That's something to consider, yeah. Alright, so looking at the temperature, I have a little bit of heat here, a little bit of cold there. So this is probably attached to a jungle biome. We also have... Uh, this side's a little bit warm. This is... Conveyor rail? This is a loader. Teleporter. Okay. So it looks like I don't want to be in the bottom, due to how warm that is. Which roid did I choose? This is Terra Start. I thought... Terra probably have the highest chance of us winning. <laughs> that's, that's that's the logic, right? Yeah, I think Terra is pretty good. Good chance of survival, right? All right, so it looks fine. Let's change this up. Downtime instead of the uh, sleep. Let's go into the. Let's give them another hour of work. Let's go to priorities. Let's set this up. Life support is high. Attacking is fine. Toggling is high, doctoring is low, rocketry is disallowed, kicking disallowed, decorating disallowed, ranching disallowed, except for this guy. And then we gotta set up the research, operating, and then he does rocketry piloting. Ashkan is the build supply, and then he'll do storing, tidying seconds. This guy is a rancher that can't ranch yet. But he's going to be minus two. All right. He's going to be doing the tidying and storing. And then the digging as well. All right. He won't do the store. And then no one's farming right now. It should be fine. Can't get super cool and that's fine. We could just use the uh, Radbolt rocket. Dreco field sour gas spoiler. It'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes it's done for the fun or some power. But it. This time it could be used as a strat. Oh crap. This looks exactly like the map I got two days ago. If the receiver is on your left hand, it's probably the same one. Yo, we got something here, man. It's a rail. I always said attacking and talking super high since I rarely do those. Not trying to backseat, just talking. Got you. Yeah, of course. That's perfectly fine, man. Everyone has their own preference. Uh, yes. Also, the seed. I'm going to copy the seed, so if you guys want to use it, I'm just going to put it into the bot so that you guys can always pull it out when you guys want it. Uh, here we go. Alright, so exclamation point C. That's going to be the current C that we're playing on. And let's get it... Let's get it started. We don't need that. We probably want this. This is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. We'll have ladders here. I don't think we need to cut that. So ladder here, and then this is going to be the pitcher pump. Wow, that guy almost got entombed already. Not bad, not bad. We got a slime biome right here. We see the clay already. Got the jungle biome on the left. We want to seal that up. We have a teleporter on the side already. Bubba Fata Man, this is the same seed you were playing on, dude. Rolled into your seed. Got more slime on the top right. 
Oh yeah, we're probably gonna have to use allergy distillers, like a proper strat. Use the hot water to melt the ice. I would have loved the frozen core. That's that would guarantee us surviving. <laughs> a frozen core would be pretty sweet. Alright, speed this up. So this is gonna be our base platform. This is gonna be 20 tiles. This is gonna be a normal size. Because if I minus the other two, it's 18, minus the other ones for doors at 16. That gives a good size. Alright, so we want this. Let's do that. New beginning, always love them. Gotta gotta have the new beginnings back. They're pretty legit. Alright, so we need the pitcher pump. Ideally, it's here, so it's ladder down. And then I know that we need to have our second floor started. Ideally, we want this. And then we need to get our bathrooms here. Hopefully we have enough time to get our first bathroom. My dupes are struggling a little bit to get the minings done. But I'm hoping we get this done fast. Because we need the outhouse. So this is going to be the exit door one, two. So I do have to mine out this piece of oxalite and that piece of oxalite. Let's get this on a priority seven. The oxalite getting mined out actually is fine. There's a common misconception that oxalite, uh, and it might be the exception in this case. Oxalite is weird in the regard that you could mine it and you still get maximum output. Even though you lose half the mass, and that's due to how the off calculation works on the oxalate. But we should be okay. Yeah, oxalate's the exception. Basically, the off-gassing calculations change from the percentage of mass. Yeah, it's weird math. It's like 3 times 5 and then 5 times 3. At the end of the day, it's the same number. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. And we got our first bathroom. Let's go. So afterwards, we need power. Just put that right here. Let's put the battery on the side. And then we need research. All right, classic. So afterwards, of course, we gotta go up with the ladder. If we fall down, we won't drown. That's good. A little bit more water top left. That's actually pretty sweet for me. Oil on the teleporter, always nice to have. Slime does not off gas when it's not dug out like this. When you have a slime tile like this, it does not off gas. So it's not comparable. The reason why oxalate is like that is because as a tile, it off gases. I want to say something comparable. It's probably something like polluted mud or the polluted dirt tiles. I'm not sure about those since I've never calculated those, but I think those are the only ones that are somewhat comparable. What's going on, Nixes? I see you over there. I hope you're doing well. How are you? Doing good. Good to hear. Good to hear, man. We started a new run today, and today is the start of the Super Classic Challenge. If you guys don't know what Super Classic is, let me know. I am happy to talk about it. But of course, this is going to be a new challenge run. We cannot use geysers, so looking at geysers is not going to matter at all. I don't know. Okay, so Super Classic is throwback to the old school classic oxygen unoccluded when it first came out. This means we're not going to be able to use geysers. No geysers allowed. Open ones are going to be sealed up by ourselves personally. And of course, we are also not going to be allowed to use a teleporter. And we cannot leave the star, uh, the star map. So on the star map, we have this circle right here. 
we can't leave the circle. So I could fly out to any one of these six tiles, but I can't move. I have to fly back or go out to the ring. Those are the only two spots I could go to. So I could do data banks, but that's it. Now the goal is going to be home sweet home and then the achievement one year to be exact. That achievement is to survive 365 cycles and home sweet home requires us to do 200 cycles, 60 more route and 12 duplicates. So that means we're going to have 12 dupe colony so that, you know, we survive as long as we can. Not if, oh, okay. I get the idea. Nice. Fractal kind. What's good. I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Not if you could only make those large fertilizer, natural gas generators arrays. What do you mean, Derek? I'm not sure what you're talking about. I don't know what those are. Is, is that a modded thing? I still haven't caught up on the latest update. I, I need to make a video on it. I, I'm, I'm really late because I was supposed to make a video when it came out. But I got so behind on everything. Feels bad, man. Oh, they're all building the other stuff and digging. Uh, let's go for this priority then. Because this is probably more, <laughs> more needed. Hey, appreciate that, Fractal Kind. I'll have to go over it. There's some details I don't have yet for the Geo Tuner. I need some time to work on that. But yeah, there's a lot I need to do. I'm so behind on everything, man. It feels bad. In Classic, you can make a ton of fertilizers to feed a bunch of natural gas generators. And you'd come out net positive. They nerfed it, though. Oh, you're talking about the fertilizer. Oh, and that's with the phosphorus, right? That's what you're talking about. I see you, Fractal Kai. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for the kind words. I see you over there. Yeah, the fertilizer makers. Yeah, 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 yeah. With phosphorus. With phosphorus. See, I never actually build that. So I didn't know what you're talking about. I was like, natural gas, fertilizer arrays. What are you talking about? That's one thing I never actually utilize, even when I ranch the Drekos. I don't make fertilizer. <laughs> I browsed AI art images of sci-fi and fantasy for desktop. They're really good. It was so difficult to find sci-fi fantasy desktop images before. Now there's tons. Yeah, I feel like with AI, because it's machines making art, it feels more like sci-fi. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it does. It feels that way, man. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm talking about, though. But it's like... <laughs> I don't know. The AI images look kind of like jank sometimes, but... Man, some of the uh, AI art nowadays, man, it's pretty legit. Baby abandoned wild farms rip? Nah, man. It's sci-fi machines making sci-fi uh, images. Yeah, man. It'd be like that sometimes. This guy's going to start eating my dirt, huh? What's up, Mr. Hatch? I see you over there. This is a weird starting biome because it's taller than it is wide. Do you want me to use a lot of ladder work? I mean, we got to go up, right? We'll try to go up as far up as we can. And then we don't want to go down here. We'll go down this way. And that's because of the water, right? We don't want to crack into the water. At the same time, we need somewhere for CO2 to go into. All right, we will turn on proximities. Feels bad. This guy's running the wheel for his own power. Thinking about trying out AI to design portfolio site for me. I uh, tried to design and code one came out terrible. <laughs> I don't know, man. The AI stuff could be kind of jank, but hey, if it works, it works. Try it out, I guess. What's going on, Leo Far? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I need to make a portfolio site. Man, everyone's making one of those, man. I see you guys over there. free food we'll get into it soon and i also need to do how come we're not building this right now feels kind of weird that we're not 
have a very half ass GitHub profile. <laughs> oh man, I mean, I could do the coding part, but it's terrible at design. The design part, I'm not gonna lie, I feel that, man. It's like when I was trying to design my first emote, it was tough because I was on MS Paint and it looked really bad. <laughs> I was just like, man, this is my emote that I designed. This is kind of gross. <laughs> and I was not proud of my design. I can't say that. I looked at it, I was like, this is really bad. <laughs> Ah, uh, such is life. What about those people who make masterpieces in MS Paint? That was not me. <laughs> that was not me. Can AIs design emotes already? It's weird. I want to say yes. I want to say yes. Because all it takes is machine learning to understand the pattern of emotes every channel has and realize that there is a base emote that every emote is based off of, right? And once it figures that out, it could just make emotes. But that's that's all it needs to figure out. Like literally, that's all it is. Hey man, how come we're not building this build anymore? Can we build this, please? And then we get a proper bathroom and then we could open up this side so that we could take this way in Turner is just digging in the CO2 feels bad for this guy man he has a tough job just need more data about emotes that's the thing you can't really so the the AI could probably make a pre-existing emote but it won't be able to make like a new emote if that makes sense like, there's, there's emotes that kind of go viral and become popular. Those type of emotes will not be able to be made by AI. That's where you need humans. Ingenuity. Like, you, you gotta have the alpha zero, right? The very first, the beginning. Without alpha zero, you don't really have anything. I don't think. But you gotta have it. New world, yay! What's going on, FPC? Coming in with the Prime, thanks so much. Enjoy the emote, the 20 does ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge, but I see you over there. Appreciate the 14 months, and thank you for using the Prime. Alpha Zero, that's a phrase used to kind of allude to the beginning, right? So the beginning, right? There is Adam, right? We say Alpha Zero because in Roman numerals, Alpha is the beginning, right? You know how it's like, I am the Alpha and the Omega? That's, that's normally what that alludes to. So for AI machine learning, you would probably have something like that for emotes, a base form of the emote where all the emotes come from. So that's the Alpha Zero. So Alpha meaning the beginning and Zero meaning that the, uh, you know, it's before the start. That that's typically what Alpha Zero means. Fed's in. Fed ninety nine, right? He didn't say anything, so we're just gonna add him in. Fed, you're in, buddy. Oh nine. I'm sorry, I got your name wrong. Fed, let me know if that's okay. I know you joined the calling and we got you in though. Resub. Yep, yeah. Appreciate you, FTV or FPC. Hope you're doing well, man. I know Alpha and the Omega quote from Fallout. Oh yeah, that's in the beginning, right? It's uh, your dad, the doctor, starts talking to you. I am the Alpha and Omega, your mom's favorite quote. Something like that. I think I remember something like that being said. Such an amazing game. Father, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give on to him that is some, some water of life freely, yes. Something, something. Pretty sure that's from the Bible. Oh, that's from the Bible. My bad. But yeah, that's 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 what I mean when I say Alpha Zero. Because <laughs> of what we're talking about, right? You need to have an Alpha Zero for that to really work out. Yo, man, I didn't know. Fed, you're going to get the pom-pom knit, buddy. And then we'll get you guys some bed soon. Originally, anyway. Yo, will be like that sometimes. Quote, quote game strong, dude. A 
Alright, so there's a lot of work to be done. I thought it was from Apocalypse from X-Men cartoon. <laughs> you thought it was from Apox? Oh man, it feels bad. Apox was cool, but he was not that cool. Feels bad, man. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this is going on very slow. And I thought about it. I played a f start the game with 50 dupes run, and I was before that playing with 100 dupes in a colony. I am not used to this low amount of dupe labor. Like, nothing's getting done. This feels weird, man. <laughs> this feels really weird. Like, I'm not even memeing. Because it's like, dude, nothing's getting done, man. What's going on here? Only for me to realize that, uh... Oh yeah, I have to go this way. Only for me to realize that, uh... <laughs> oh man. We don't have enough dupes, we don't have the manpower. It is what it is though. So we create a dugout below our level we're working on, so that CO2 accumulates below this. Uh, eventually we'll probably put food down here. I'll probably make a little dugout. And then I need to make sure the hatch is not eating the muckroot. So I don't think there's any critters here, right? Nope. The only hatch is up top, I think. He might be... Yeah, he's right there. He's a fertilizer. Sleeping. Have you played around with the new features? Uh, I played around with a little bit. I didn't play enough with the geo turners Or conductive panel. I checked out the story traits. Checked out some of the room overlay stuff. I play around with... Uh, some of the geo tuner stuff too. I just I need more time with it. There's a new bug in this update. Pips plant a seed. His cheeks are permanently puffy. <laughs> That's awesome. That's actually a uh, a change I do not actually mind. Puffy cheek uh, Pips dude. Always cute. Always cute. Fractal kind nose like all oh, dude. That's cute dude. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That's always cute. Alright, we're gonna have the bedrooms up here. Once we're ready. We got the battery, so let's get the supercomputer. Uh, I don't have a good spot for power yet, so we're just gonna keep that. Probably move it over to here. Get a small little dugout for the uh, battery. Why do you use two doors instead of one door and two tiles? Just curious. Uh, cost. Tiles cost 100, or it costs 200. Right? And I don't have airflow. So in the beginning of the game, this is better for airflow, and it's cheaper. Airflow tiles are 100 metal per tile, and this is 100 metal for two tiles. So it's airflow in the base, and because it's also cheaper than using airflow tiles. So you might as well. And all you're going after most of the time is the room bonus anyways. So this not being a wall doesn't change anything. They can walk through the bottom still. This is still technically a door. But because of how gases work, you want to have gas flow a lot of the times. So instead of airflow, we just go with the uh, doors. Yep, better airflow through the base. Yep, yep, yep. And because I don't have uh, airflow tiles unlocked immediately, I don't, I don't beeline for airflow. I beeline for farm, and then I get the large battery, and then I get the supercomputer. After that, it depends on uh, what we're going after at the moment. But that's normally how I open up my colonies in terms of research tech. But it's really preference. You could do anything you want. You could, you know, go straight for insulated tiles. You could go straight for airflow. You could go straight for the bathroom if that's what you want to do. That's perfectly fine. It's 100% preference. So this is going to be here. And then, yep, yeah, have to do that. All right, we're going to have to start mining, or mining, growing mealwood soon. Uh, it looks like I'm going to want to grow my food on this side. And I'm going to have to seal this up as soon as I get insulated tech, which is going to be probably soon. I probably want to do insulated tech the moment after I get a uh, supercomputer. You usually go straight to the bathroom at it after eating Taco Bell. Seems legit. Tom Twitch. Seems legit. I do that after I go get Chipotle. The Chipotle special, dude. There's always something in the 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 something. <laughs> I don't know, man. I see you over there, Tampa Twitch. I see you over there. 
Oh God, hey man. <laughs> I love me my Mexican food though, I will say that. I love me my Mexican food. It's it's good stuff, man. Mexican food is great. Alright, I I, I want to get insulated tile tech as soon as I can though, because I want to stop the heat from here to here. And then if I could do that, I could safely grow mealwood here indefinitely. As this is not a lot of heat, I could try to balance that out. Especially with the ice up top. Oh, damn, that's a lot of snow. Alright, so that means, yep, that's going to be the first geyser. You see how there's ice on top of the geyser already? That's perfectly fine. I miss Chipotle. Our location just stopped working. Uh, badly mismanaged. Yeah, I'd be like that sometimes. I'm not a man. Chipotle is weird. How does this challenge work with steam geysers? Can you use the water if as if it's producing? It's so if I find a cool steam vent and it's open and it's making water, I'm going to go out of my way to go towards the cool steam vent and seal it up so that any water it already produced, you know, I have to use it. But if we don't have the ability to reach it, like let's say that I can't reach the ice biome because I can't go through the abyssal light. Hey, it is what it is. I'll have to wait until I get Abyssal Light tech before I unlock and then go there and seal it up afterwards. But the idea is if you have an open cool steam vent, you have to close it up yourself manually. And then you can't use anything that uh, geysers make, but if it's already produced, like it's already on the map already when you discovered it, hey, it is what it is, right? Because in this game, Fog of War means that when a cool steam vent is running, but it's in fog of war, it's actually not active. Meaning that until you discover it, it's not producing resources. So this means that if we do find it, we're going to go out of our way to seal it up though. But until we do, we don't have to do anything because um, the guys are not considered active. So that's going to be kind of the, the gameplay loop. Well, well, not the loop, but what the goals are going to be. Like you have the cool switch to the left once you see it. Uh, need to seal fair. Yep. But all the water that's already made, I could use. Right? I could use any of the water that's already made. Alright, we're not going to eat nutrient bars or muckroot. We want the... Okay, we don't have meal lice. Okay, we'll allow them to eat the nutrient bars, but not the muckroot. We have a lot of muckroot. I'm going to stockpile that because... I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta mine this, and I gotta mine this to go to the bottom. So we'll have to mine that out. This allows the CO2 to go down a little bit easier as well. Research tack will go for insulated tile. And then that means I need to move my food ration box suit so that the hatch does not, you know, get us. So we'll make a food ration box here. And then this is just going to be a normal floor. I won't dig out that tile because of the water is going to spill in. I don't want soggy feet. And then once we move the ration box, we could start putting all the food here. And then I want to do this now so that the hatch doesn't body us and start eating all the food. Did you complete the 50 dupes challenge? Yes, I did, Solrak. I did. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. So technically, I don't know if that count. Oh, we got an oxy fern. This is actually pretty godlike. This is actually pretty godlike. All right. So I need a pip now. <laughs> Please, God, send me a pip. The Lord and Savior, Sir Pip. We need him, dude. We really do. We need the Sir Pips, man. Alright, so this is everything. Priority 8. So the Oxyfern Seed is chilling. I would love to have that soon. Alright, so the heat energy up top is not that bad. Let's go with tiles here. And if we do tiles there, we can start doing farm tiles here. 
and then it's here because it's two tiles tall so theoretically i do want to mine this we'll go with a weird pattern every other and then i'll do this and we need to start growing mealwood soon food's not going to last us that launch uh, that much longer so the reason why i'm doing this is because i don't want any of the uh items to be on top of the farm tops i want it to fall down I also need to start moving all the hatches so they don't start eating all my muckroot. <laughs> That's inefficient. I don't want them to do that. I'd rather have them eat dirt or something. But, oh, we got skill points already. Okay, so Oshkon is... This guy's the Mechatronics guy. So we'll get close to Mechatronics. This guy fed is research. Okay. And then Turner is digging. Oh, we need him for ranching. Oh, that's tough. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Oxyframe better than electrolyzer at converting water to oxygen, so Pip's optional. I I still would... I mean, I guess that's true. I'm just not a fan of the Oxyframe. Did you check unspoilable food rations to avoid from critters? Yeah, I did. We have everything here. It's just we just got to wait for the dupes to start uh, moving the food. Oh, another thing I got to do is germs. Max this out at a million so that they're not constantly using the uh, disinfecting gun. We don't need that yet, theoretically. Gonna grow two rows of mealwood. Classic. And the reason why I'm building a tile up top is so that if I start mining, it doesn't fall on top of the mealwood. There we go. Oshkon picking up all the muckroot in the world. Storing it. Let's go. And the meal lice. Alright, so now this one we could deconstruct and then put in the supercomputer right there. We could reach the bottom now, which is pretty sweet. I would love to have an ox fern down here. I also want to make sure I'm paying attention to my algae, dirt, and then I don't know if there's anything else I actually care to actually look at. Oxalite's not going to matter, coal's not going to matter, eggs are not going to matter, food we have top left, yeah that's about it. Citrus joins the colony, Citrus who would you like to take? You could take Oshkon or Turner, let me know. Oshkon or Turner. You got a preference, man. Gonna take Turner. We got you, Citrus. Welcome on into the colony. You're gonna be the rancher and the miner. That's gonna be your job, Citrus. Ranching, digging, and tidying. We got classic butler, wizard, classic. The classic butler wizard research station, nice. So supercomputer and power. Let me get a jumbo battery on the side. Oops. And then we can remove the smart battery. Love the mining. Nice, nice. How are you today, though, Citrus? How was the days? How was the Tuesdays? Hope you're doing well. What's going on, uh, iCordy? How are you? How are you doing today? Hope all is well in your part of the world. Silent One, I see you coming in with the dunks. What's good, Silent One? I'm new. What does don't micro the streamer rule mean? That means... You ever play real-time strategy games like StarCraft, maybe Warcraft 3, where you build a base and you fight each other? You know, you do the Zergling rush. So, so when you're when you you know when you get like 20 marines as Terran and then you move the the, the marine in the very front of the pack that's taking all the damage to the back so he could still fight with low HP. That's called microing, right? So, when I say don't micro the streamer, that means don't tell me exactly how to do everything. All right, legit. I need you to build 
four layers of farms. Minimal spacing in between. We're going to grow some meal one on that. Next to that, we want your bathrooms. Top of that, I want you to build some uh, bedrooms. Like, don't do that. That's microwing. Telling me exactly what it is you want me to do. I am open to people suggesting, hey, legit, why don't you do this? Or, hey, legit, isn't this a good idea? You know what I'm saying, right? Like, there's a, a way to present ideas so that you're not looking as, you know, forceful. Right? So that's that's what I mean when I say don't micro the stream. Yeah, don't demand things, but suggestions or ideas are fine. I watch legit and all the run colonies like <laughs> I see you a fractal kind then. I see you over there. Alright, legit, I need you to build four layers of meal one next to the bathrooms. Forget the rest of what you said. Come on, man. This guy, Napolinis. Hey, legit, why don't you just ignore those comments like they didn't happen? I, I don't ignore chat, dude. I talk to chat. I demand stuff all the time. And you know what happens to Cthulhu? We send his ass to the data banks. Every time. Hey, legit, you forgot the ore scrubber. I don't have the tech, buddy. The UTLs tab's not even existing yet. We don't got utilities. Feels bad. No ore scrubbers in this house. Chlorine only. Oh yeah, I could take off the uh, small battery now. Are the fertilizer makers any good to make natural gas? I mean, you could make some. But the problem with the fertilizer makers... Wait, do I have it? I don't have it. Is that it means you normally have to ranch Drekos. Right? Phosphorite comes from Drekos. Best building in the game. I see you over there. Is the ore square even useful? I don't really think I've ever. No, it's 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 it's, a, it's probably the most unused building in the game. Realistically, it's not that good. Hey, legit. I got my new CPU cooler last night. Left it out in a while, and it was uh, minus thirty-eight. Jesus Christ! Wait, what? Minus thirty-eight. Hopefully, you don't get any like condensation liquid on it man and that's that sounds like it's it's working too hard too constantly what the hell dude i don't understand dude how did you do that nine i we have enough uh mealwood for my colony already so we're actually gonna stop growing is it an all-in-one that's a good that's a great question like don't don't they have temperature limits so you stop you know running it when it's hot you know what I'm saying? Like if it's if it's already cooled down, shouldn't it stop running? Oh, that's what you were saying. It was minus 38 outside when it got delivered, and it was out there for a while before you. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'm like, whoa. I read that thinking that you installed your cooling system, right? And it brought your CPU down to minus 38. I was like, what? Is that even possible? <laughs> now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. He pre-chilled it for you, dude. He pre-chilled it. It is supposed to get down to minus 50 on Mon in Montana on, Thurs on Thursday. I see you, Citrus. That's tough, man. That's cold. Hope you guys are prepared for that. Well, now Volcano Analyzers need bleach, though. That's true, too. What's going on, uh, HP Fangirl? How are you? I see you over there. Welcome on in. Let me know if you have any questions. Especially the super classic challenge that we're doing right now. If you don't know what that is, I'll be happy to explain. Otherwise, hope you enjoy the stream. Do you live in Antarctica? Yo, this guy. Just north of the U.S. border, like two hours low. This guy lives in freaking Iceland. Greenland, dude. It's two hours by boat or something. I read it wrong too. Yeah, me too. Man. I thought it was like he pre chilled that. Man. I was like, that's impressive. That's actually pretty impressive. Some of the other types. That's true. There was the best snow today. Just some flakes with uh, nothing sticking. Oh, interesting. Might want to be careful with the sand and fertilizer tile on the water tank. Opening side might leak. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. You're talking about the hardness value and how it breaks, right? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. 
Yeah, legit. You're getting a heat wave this weekend. Oh, what? That's actually not bad. That means I don't have to have my heater on. Oh, they're not cleaning the toilets? All right, let's make another one just in case they mess that up. No one has a full bladder. Let's go. Look at that. Citrus the wizard doing his work, dude. What Citrus doesn't know is that this guy has noodle arms. So he's going to be here all cycle long, dude. Like, I'm not even kidding. He's going to be here for 10 minutes clogging the toilets because he's not strong enough. He is not happy with his job. Dude, I'm not even kidding, man. That noodle arms, you did this from the beginning of the cycle. And you're not even three-fourths of the way there. You might actually take the full cycle to clean one toilet, dude. There it is. Progress. Actually takes half a cycle, almost. You did it, though, Citrus. Pog you, dude. <laughs> Pog you. As long as you're able to do it. What's going on, Uglar Visk? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Did I grab Insulated Tile? I did. Okay, so the next tech I probably want is... It's probably Water Sieve. If it's not Water Sieve, do I want anything else? No, it probably is Water Sieve. And then we'll grab Ranching afterwards. Gross law would be like that sometimes. No other way except mods. Sounds like IRL. My bathroom is clean, yo. Ain't nice. Look at that. He's pogging, dude. I clean the toilets. Gotta wash his hands afterwards, man. Flowing geysers were so useless before. Now I suppose that's in a cheesy way. So it makes sense that it gives them more utility. Honestly, man. Not gonna lie. Chlorine really needed added utility. 100%. They really, really needed it. Alright, so with the insulated tile, we can start sealing this up. So, how do I want to do this? I want to do a box format. Alright, so here, 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 here. Oh, that's the perfect line. Are you serious? But there's water there. That's such a pain. And then I don't want to do this. That's kind of a pain as well. So I think what we do is here, here. Yeah, that works. That works. And then this lines up and then it's a new platform. Yeah, that works. All right. So we do this and then I'll start with the top. And then we'll mine our way down. And then we'll get to the bottom afterwards. I'll probably do something like this, to be honest. So we'll seal up Abyssalite to Abyssalite where the heat is. Cold Geo. That's not bad, though. Only makes sense to give more utility, yeah. And if only Puff Prince ranching was easy to automate. Dude, Puff ranching is just pain, dude. And I, I want to say the reason why majority of people hate it is because of how, like, wrangling Puffs, man, is just a pain. Like, no one knows how to use the critter. Airborne critter bait. <laughs> it's just a struggle, dude. Is it possible to assist proper ranching with some tech? Make it, like, separating rooms with multiple tiles as a strat? Oof. I've seen you try that full on, man. That just seems like it's such a hassle. I missed the destruction of the last colony. Was it glorious? Hey, man, it's for you to find out, Jack Bull. It's for you to find out. Ranch them puffs. Yo, man. I wouldn't mind having all princes if they give you a better turnover. But they're pretty bad. The turnover on uh, puff princes. Nutrient bar. Free food. Can't say no to that. But I might want another dupe. We don't have a cook. Another rancher is probably pretty sweet. Uh, this guy's also having noodle arms, though. But he's stinky. This guy is pretty cool, but he also has shabby dresser. That's not a big factor, though. I wouldn't mind the food. The food's kind of nice, but I do have meal wood. No spoilers, man. Jack, boy, you can check it out. Nothing wrong with that. 
Is there a range limit on airborne bait? I think it's 16 tiles. Just like the uh, critter drop off. It's 16 tiles all directions from the base. Basically, if you're too far away, they're not going to uh, walk towards you or something like that. I might be wrong with 16 tiles, but I think it's around there for the vertical height. If you're above 16 tiles, the flying critters don't come to you. I might be wrong, though. You can't use it on babies for the auto wrangle strat. Only adult critters. This guy's not bad, but the fact that he's cooking and ranching kind of sucks. That's uselessly low. 16 tiles is pretty wide. That's the, that's the range of a bedroom. But I might be wrong with the 16 tiles. I think it's 16, though. All right, I'm thinking the... So what I mean is 16 tiles, like this. So if I had my uh, critter drop-off on this tile, I would have 16 tiles range. And then vertically as well. Right? So any puff from here to here in this triangle will come to my critter drop-off. I might be wrong. Someone correct me if I am, but I think that's the range for that. For when you're using the auto wrangle flying critter strat. And designing this brought the old feeling of some problems to be solved in the early runs. Yo man, puff suck, dude. I'm not gonna ranch him. But you need lots of micromanagement if your ranch is very far away from the puff. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of times you want to just automate it. It's tough, man. You got to use waterlock jails. Every every waterlock jail becomes an infinite pressure tank. <laughs> it's weird, man. I mean, it is what it is, though. Let's up this to 7 so that the harvesting is done a little bit early. Most of the time, babies will be transported as eggs. Yeah, most of the time, that's the only way around it. You have to transport them as eggs. Wife and I are going to start growing and selling microgreens. Probably mostly due to consumer, but may look into restaurants and grocery stores. Also have a culinary program in the city too. Oh, that's awesome. Not gonna lie, man. Are microgreens like herbs like basil? What are microgreens? I don't know what, what that food category is. You guys could probably do like a, a juice shop. Those probably want microgreens as well. Right? The uh, juicing locations, if you have any of those. Because I know a lot of them like to do like uh, wheatgrass. Uh, wheatgrass shots in a press. Oh, I have no idea about biological life and how long it takes for them to grow. <laughs> I have no idea at all, man. I'm not going to lie. But hey, that's awesome. I would look into local juiceries, like juice shops that do like fresh press juice. They typically want locally sourced because it looks better. Um, also, I don't know if, yeah, if there's any like trade shows. I mean, I don't know how, you, how much you guys could supply. But yeah, restaurants, local restaurants, local little shops like that would be pretty awesome to look into. What's going on, Hippo? How are you? How was the days today? How was the Tuesdays? How have you been, Mr. Hippo? Hopefully you're been doing well. Hopefully you're uh, getting some nice weather. But what is good, Mr. Hippo? How are you doing today? Microgreens are basically baby plants, like uh, plant leaves from seed. You just harvest the plant right after it sprouts. Oh, mostly going to grow like broccoli, micros, high amount of uh, sofrain or something. I have no idea what that is, but I'm uh, leave it to the experts. I tried to search for a good design for Buff Ranch and failed. So I tried to do my own, and most of that relies on counters, and it's not foolproof. Yep, that's the thing, man. A lot of people don't like it when designs aren't like foolproof like that, and it, it gets tough. I get stuff. Just jumping on Twitch for the first time today and saw you online. Hey, I see you over there, Hippo. That's awesome. You Do you not jump on Twitch outside of streaming? <laughs> Yo, man, I'm not going to lie, man. I'm kind of the same way. Like, if I do jump on Twitch, it's so that I could just lurk on the people uh, that I'm following. And I'll lurk silently so that I could, uh, you know, do my thing that I'm doing. I generally just leave the puffs wild. Yeah, man. You can't go ranch puffs, man. It's tough time, man. 
if you harvest right after a sprout, it's a sprout, and it gives you a week, and then you get the first leaves. Seems legit. I do, but I just woke up and got some stuff done. Nice. And now my daily chores are done, and I'm here. Nice. That's responsibility right there. You got to be responsible, you guys. Got to do your daily chores, like Mama said. And then uh, that way you can be productive and still enjoy life. That's that's that work-life balance, right? As they uh, teach us. But I see you over there, Mr. Hippo. Awesome, awesome. She keeps you honest. Hey, that's what you need, man. That's one of those things that I was watching an anime. And some people got into deep discussion about your significant others. Would you rather have someone that gives you everything that you as a person want? Or would you rather have someone that you didn't know you needed in your life? That is for lack of better words, better for you, but you don't know that. It's so weird. It's so weird how, how the dynamic works because you could, that, that significant other could be good for you and you just don't know it, right? Things like that, man. But the thing is, is that at the time when you don't know you need that, it's hard to actually pick that person. Because of course, me asking you the question, it's gonna be light as day. But in actual reality, if you had to choose between two people, would you actually know? Because it's not based off of the question, it's based off of how they treat you. One of them gives you everything you want. The other one, right? makes you do x y and z you kind of don't like it right and it, it becomes a thing where it's like why won't you go to the partner that gives you everything you want right and it becomes one of those things where it's like man it's 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 hard to really decide because it's like i could say everything right right now but in the moment can you actually differentiate that and that's 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 the thing that's tough I see we're diving into the challenges. Yes, we're doing challenges right now, almost Emily. Hope you're doing well. Let me know if you have any questions. The only thing I could think of is automating puff prints injectors using incubator weight plates and a timer and puffs life. Wait, 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 wait. Do, do puff princes even trigger the weight plate since they're flying? <laughs> it's at least entertaining, still worth the watch. Hey. Give me a partner who's 100% better for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As someone with someone I don't know I need in my life, the latter. Yeah, right? That, like, everyone would say the latter. Would you always uh, not know why the person is good for you? I mean, there's... they. It's basically like a compliment thing, synergy thing. Like, if you are good in X, Y, and Z, they're good at A, B, and C. And you guys are a good synergetic couple. But you guys don't have too many overlapping traits. So that might cause some friction, right? That's that's the thing. Like maybe someone's an uh, introvert and the other one's an extrovert, and that typically doesn't mesh well. But then at the end of the day, you become an ambivert, where it's somewhat of a balance, and that's sometimes what you need to you know get away from reality or to go back into it, so that you're not lost in the sauce, so to speak. I don't know, man. It's tough. It's tough. Balance is the most important thing in life. That's the thing, though. It's, that's the hardest thing to find. Balance. There's so many things that tempt you. There's so many things that feel or look like a better thing to be at or do, right? That it's, it's tough to find that balance because we're always pulled in one direction. I don't like yes man or women. Haha, -ha. I got you. I got you. But yeah, you, you, that's, that's the thing, right? Like, how do you know something is, is good for you that you didn't need? Or you, how do you know someone is good for you that you didn't know you needed, right? That's the hardest thing to really, like, figure out. I met my partner here on Twitch. As long as you have good communication, then you can figure out any situation at our expense. Honestly, yes. And in my experience, not everyone is a good communicator. <laughs> I'm not saying that as a streamer. I'm just saying that because... That's kind of what happened in my last relationship. <laughs> they were not good at communicating. And that became a problem. I'm an intro point to the point where I don't mind not going out for a long time. She's an extrovert who loves hanging out with people, but also likes being lazy, so we balance each other out. <laughs> I feel like I'm just like Hippo. If I could stay in, like, like, like when COVID happened, I was kind of like, this is not bad. 
I could kind of chill at home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I chill at home, man. I'm safe. I got my cat with me. Life's pretty good. Even if I can't go outside. Right? Gotta j try to enjoy the things. But yeah, man, I know how, how that, like, messed up a lot of extroverts. I can't see my friends. Can't see my family. I can't leave. It becomes a hassle. And it's like, yeah, I'd be like that sometimes. Yeah, introvert and extrovert couples are the best as an introvert. I'm an introvert. I will say that. Now, the thing is, is that I've been told that in a professional environment, when I was, you know, working my accounting job, people thought I was an extrovert. They thought I was very outgoing, outspoken. But it was not it. That's the thing. Like, even though they say that they saw that, that was not what I was actually, like, trying to showcase. It was more so that it was like no nonsense like hey man i'm not about that what are you doing <laughs> and they're doing something blatantly wrong i just call them out i'm like i'm not gonna take any of this buddy i don't care who you think you you know get this away with but you're not getting away with me <laughs> and it's like because of that things got done more people started talking about things and then I, I guess I was the trigger. And then as a result, people was like, oh, yeah, he's outspoken. He's going to make sure things get done right. He's an extrovert. He's not scared to ask questions. I'm like, no, that's completely wrong. <laughs> yes, I'm not scared to ask the question. But at the same time, I'd rather not talk to people. <laughs> I'll send the email out. That's why the off environment was kind of okay. I could just send the email out and tag my boss and things get done. <laughs> that's the funny thing I'll just tag the boss if he knows about it that's all that matters I don't know professional life you have to be something to be successful I'm exhausted at the end of every day yeah me too man this stuff is mentally tiring because I remember I had my boss who didn't want to deal with legal readings and legal letters made me do it and I was like oh, I could do it it's fine and dude that, that stuff gets exhausting L like legal jargon dude it's 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 ah oh man legal jargon sucks <laughs> you gotta read that stuff like five times to understand but yeah i'd be like that sometimes not a fan of the legal stuff though all right so back to the game we have enough meal wood let's speed this up so we're sealing up this gap right now between this abyssal light and that abyssal light abyssal light is a natural temperature wall so us making a insulated layer between makes it so that the heat being generated from this area does not leak out. That means that our food grows a little bit longer. So what's your water strat without any geyser? I assume water includes vents. Yes, anything that is uh, covered up with the uh, obsidian and granite tiles and anything that's open, we're going to seal up as well. So the water strat is we are going to have to use bathrooms. And ideally, I want to get people with a small bladder so they pee twice. When they pee twice, we generate a little bit more water. Now, we also have slime. Slime allows us to go for the, I don't have it yet, the algae distiller. So we could convert slime into water, and then that water goes into the spawn. We also get algae, and algae becomes oxygen as well. So we're going to have to use up all the slime on the starting planet, and we're going to have to exhaust all the resources. Someone brought up a good point with the uh, fertilizer. We can make natural gas with this, and then natural gas gives us polluted water, which means that we can convert phosphorite into a water source, kind of. So we'll have to see, but, you know, we got some things to play around with. Now, I will say that I haven't really flushed this out, so it's going to be one of those things. I also need to make, I think it's going to be Citrus, the farmer. Oh, it's not 100% foolproof? Just some preliminary thinking. I see a Xenosai. Going to go to Lurk, going to do some uh, quesadillas. I got your fractal guy. Make some good food, man. I see one over there. Quesadillas are all about the salsa. Because uh, once you get the quesadillas and you chop them up, dipping them in salsa makes it all that more amazing. But I see you over there. Have that uh, good food, dude. Miss Chemical Stairs, I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. 
hope you're having a good Tuesday. Are you aiming for sustainability or just as long as possible? I don't think we could sustain. Honestly, I don't think we could sustain. With the challenge as present, I don't think we could survive indefinitely. I want to say it's not possible. Critter comes in. We got you, Critter. Oh, I thought I clicked on your name, but I didn't. I, I want to be sustainable if possible. I just don't think it's possible. So the answer to that is, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's possible. Are you going to stop after one year or is it going to be your goal to get it and then to keep going as long as you can? I don't even know if I'll get to a year. So the immediate goal is home sweet home. And then one year to be exact is after we do home sweet home. Lots of natural plant tiles. Yep. At least I need to get a pip. That's going to be the immediate goal right now. Hope for a pip. The earlier we get a pip, the better. <laughs> At the end of the day. All right, we're going to go for the ranching tank. Who's got a dupe? Oh, uh, Miss Chemical Stairs, I'll go through the dupe list myself for the rewards queue. And that's because uh, I had people use their points for the 50 for 50 challenge last week. And I did not want them to use their points. So I have to refund some of them. Oh, these guys are cramped, dude. Feels bad. I can't save them because I can't mine through Abyssal like that. So what's the challenge run? So the challenge is no geysers. Um, anything that we have that's a geyser, we can't use. Any open geysers, we have to seal up ourselves. And then we also have no leaving the starting planet. On the star map, we can't leave the circle, so we can't go out to a point of interest. And the goal is going to be oil wells also count as a geyser, so no tapping into oil wells. The goal is going to be doing home sweet home and then doing the achievement survive for 365 cycles. And those are going to be the immediate goals. Now, this challenge run is technically a challenge run because it's about survive. Ah, sorry about that. It's about survival. Meaning that we're going to try to see how long we could survive. Not so much a sustainability thing, because I don't think we could live that long. Hydro Cactus would have been good for this run. Ah, that would have been amazing. It's just that, you know, man, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. All right, so Citrus is the person. All right, we got to do it like this. Otherwise, Citrus, the wizard, is not going to dig this. And then after he does that, we can build the tiles. And then we got to do the water here and relocate the water. So we got to do this. I also got to do that. And this is at 500 kilograms. That's not bad. So this is going to be a strat when I do these two tiles. So we do this. All right, the strat is we mine out this tile. And then we build a tile here. And then that pushes the water in instead of deleting it. And then we could build out this layer safely. There we go. We got Mealwood Boys. Mealwood's on the menu. Let's make sure we're not eating anything else. Nutrient bars turned off. 13k cows. I guess we could turn that on. What does Hydro Cactus need? Is that the one where it sands? I'm actually not sure. All right, so there's a break here. I guess we could go into this. Or maybe that's going to be our natural entrance exit. That could be what we do there. And then we need a uh, seal over here. So I probably want... This comes out to here. I probably want it like this. So this lines up to that. This lines up to this. And then from here we go straight down. And then I probably go diagonal. And I have to seal this up here. Alright, we get a new dupe. Ooh, the classic cummerbunds. This is a classic. I wouldn't mind grabbing this. We only still have three dupes though. Consumes pea water and oxygen. Outputs clean water. Uh, I hope that actually balances out. We could we could make pea water from uh, using the carbon skimmer on carbon dioxide. Instead of filtering, we just make pea water. This guy's not bad. Ranching, tidying, researching. Second rancher, second tidier. 
would be pretty sweet. Second researcher. We don't need it though. Frankie's looking pretty sweet though. Not gonna lie. Thank you, Miss Chemical Stairs. Full sustainability sounds very difficult without geysers. Yep. Yeah, I wanted to get the suit. It looks really clean. But then I'm thinking we get Frankie. Because I want the rancher. Yeah, we take Frankie. Alright, so Frankie the rancher. We have him do ranching. No building. Because you're building impaired, so we're not going to make you do that. And then as a result, we also make you do tidying and then storing. Supplying is going to be your minimum job. That means Citrus the wizard. We are going to make him do less tidying because he has noodle arms. And he struggles to pick up buckets of water. So we give him an easier job to do. Yeah, I have no ranchers right now. I think the main reason is because uh, I'm going to go towards the uh, ranching skill with Frankie. Fed needs to get... We'll get him tinkering. So that's easier to manage. Alright, so now with four dupes, I need a little bit more meal wood. So we're just going to grow some more plants. Alright, so we need to mine this and get this out. Mine out these tiles. I probably do this though. Make sure we're able to mine all that. So the bottom is sealed up well. And it's this side is another heat source. This is a jungle biome. This is a good seal, ice biome. And then right here kind of sucks. It's a weird hybrid biome though. I might just want to seal it up naturally. Something like that. Thoughts on trying to farm morbs for O2 instead of trying to get water? That's probably something I'll consider. But you're limited by the amount of sand you have if you do that. That could be something we could do though. Because once you run out of sand, you're just going to have to breathe in the polluted uh, oxygen. And then everyone just starts getting slime blown. <laughs> Feels bad if you run out of sand. But if we have sand, like crushing everything back into sand with the rock crusher, it wouldn't be that bad. I think at some point we might want to do that, but I'm not sure. Because the morbs don't generate a lot of oxygen it's generated in grams per second so it's really not a lot so you would need like i think it's 11 morbs per do because it's like around 8.8 .8 grams per second if optimized so it's like yeah we could do it but it's like i don't know if it's worth it <laughs> true but at least you could still breathe po2 and won't die so it might be a last resort so the thing with that is, is that morbs spawn every three cycles when built properly, I think. There is a minimum time spent. So we would have to accumulate the morbs, I think. I might be wrong. I might be misremembering, but I think I remember something like that. All right, we could diagonally build that. And then we're going to have to walk down the sign. So that we could build out the sign. More water at the bottom is going to be pretty sweet. And then we would have to build out these two tiles. So we'll just do that. So we're going to use the teleporter. We're just not going to go to the other planet. We're just going to use this tunnel. I might even just build an insulated tile straight to the left. I do want to deconstruct a couple of tiles though to pick up the oil. <laughs> that would be one thing I'd think about. And then the research is done. Okay. Uh... I don't need anything. I guess we could go for a proper bathroom setup. Could be the first thing we go for. To get the free glass. In there. That's true. And we start getting glass. But. I don't think we're going to actually utilize solar panels. <laughs> like like outside of solar panels. That's, that's, that's really the use of glass, right? They need more use for glass, dude. Real talk. 
They need to make more uses for glasses. They got to make a decorative pipe. They got to do that, man. They got to make a decorative pipe that allows you to run liquids through it. And it, like, becomes a nice background. That'd be really cool. In regards with oil, is it to convert petroleum to plastic and then arrive as a printable? Decor heat exchange. I want it for decor, not a heat exchange, because we have that already, right? Radiant pipes for decor. Clear glass pipes. It's probably going to, we probably have to balance it out so that it's not as conductive as radiant pipes. But it's really there for the decor value. Pixel packs are cool, but we gotta, we gotta, we need some more use for glass. What's that? That I mean, that's really the point. We need some glass usage. Arrow pot, that's true. Arrow pots, uh, solar panels, window tiles. I think that's it, though, right? With regards to oil, is it to convert petroleum to plastic and then arrive at a printable? Um, I don't know if I need it. To be honest, the oil. Because I think we're going to go the Draco route. Because we have gloss or regular Dracos in the area that we're going to want to tap into. <gasps> Do I have Dracos? They're empty so far. I have no Dracos. Are you serious? Oh, they have one. All right, man. This guy. This guy is going to basically uh, grow the entire force of Dracos. That one Draco by himself. I think there's a mod that adds some glass to decor items. Dude, that'd be kind of tight. We're, we're missing that, man. We need that glass decor. We really do. Alright, we don't need it, but it'd be nice to have. It'd be nice to have. Alright, let's make a proper bedroom. Let's get a new bed for the new dupe once we got it. And then... Yeah, we just gotta do a couple of seals right now, which is what we're working on. I guess we could work on this one. Seal up to here. Start working towards that. And then we'll seal this going down. Working on this side right now. This water right there is going to be a pain. I think what we're going to want to do is let it spill out. So that it can just, you know, accumulate with this water source. This is really good as a heat buffer, though. Because this heat can't come in because of the water is buffering it. That's, that's the upside right there. That's not too bad. All right, so we got puffs. I don't know if I want to utilize them. I'm really not sure. You seem to be quite knowledgeable in this game. Yes, I have a lot of hours, and I am basically a walking Wikipedia when it comes to this game. I have a lot of knowledge. So how do you win the game if you can't leave? Well, Linden, the win condition is survive for 365 cycles. And once we do that, and we do the home sweet home achievement, we beat the game. That's our win condition. Given the stipulation that we have an added challenge. That's going to be our win condition. Alinda, I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Hope everyone in chat's doing well as well. Knowledge is included in legit. Only way to do it, man. Can you, can you call yourself legit if you're not knowledgeable? Asking for a friend, man. Just saying. I see now. There's a mod for Hydro Cactus which makes it useful, unlike the vanilla one. Ah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, in the vanilla Hydro Cactus is not even in the game, though, right? Bathroom time? Gonna get it soon? See, I don't need bathrooms, and I don't want to start running one as that generates heat. But I'm not composting either, so it's not that bad. Oh, I did not actually make this priority nine. Left. Let's make another one. Not naturally. Yeah, right? You have to spawn it in. That's one of those things that's weird. Why is Hydro Cactus not in the game yet? Like, what's wrong with it? I just don't know why. Like, it's not being utilized. Alright, we gotta mine that. Hopefully we can build this. Unreachable dig? That's gotta be a lie, right? I don't get this. We're not digging, though. <laughs> Why is this the unreachable? I'm so confused. Anyways, I'm going to bed. Half past midnight here. It was nice lurking. Gotcha, David. Didn't know you were lurking. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. 
And of course, hope you get some uh, good night of rest. We'll see you next time. Thank you for stopping by. And hope you have a good one, man. See you next time. Always fascinating to see someone who knows so much about the game on hand. It's got to do it, man. We got to do it. Water sieve or goldfish is cheaper. Yo, man. Goldfish maintenance kind of sucks. Because you got to keep the temperature cold. Otherwise, you get the other eggs, which is not that great. Got the uh, outputter. No geysers yet, though, which is fine. I think it's a known bug. Always see. Uh, always says uh, unreachable for me, too. Yeah, it feels weird. But the priorities are fine, right? People will actually do the job. CO2 at the bottom. Is that chlorine? How'd I get chlorine in here? Oh, from over here. Feels weird. We swapped out a little bit of oxygen for chlorine. Alright, tech. Uh, we will grab the odorizer tech. It's always nice to have. Is it me or is it like when they started adding in the story traits, we started getting a lot more bugs and glitches in the game? Because it was like before the story trades, I would say the game was pretty stable. Now that the story trades are here, everything is broken now. <laughs> Duplicates are leaving Atmo suits, checkpoints without suits on, things like that, man. It feels weird. Alright, we gotta build out all these tiles. Go out to the bottom. I'll probably seal this up as well. Go straight down. And then we'll have to do, oh, chlorines right here. And that's going to suck. We'll probably just have to seal this up. This is going to be a heat source coming in. Only thing saving us is that uh, teleporter is actually... Oh, this is neutronium. So the temperature is fixed. Never mind. So I do want to go here as soon as I can. Who do we got? Ooh, curative tablets. That will save us from a little bit of disease. Rocketry is not needed. Doctoring is not needed. This guy's also anemic. Feels bad. Doctor farm decorated. We're taking the tablets. I would be, just, I would be surprised if there is a huge team working on Oni right now. Maybe 5 to 10 people at most. Yeah, I would imagine it's too big. It's probably Clay's, what, second biggest game? Right? Because it's not even uh, bigger than Don't Starve. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Smaller team for the smaller game. Unreachable's old one. I think like 4th or 5th encounter since uh, launch update. Unreachable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feels weird though, man, that that's the case. So far doing good though. No one has long commutes. Can't complain. Which probably means we're doing all right. All right, breathability is also probably pretty bad. Man, nothing is getting done. The life of having a low do count. But I don't actually mind this, I think. I think this is fine. All right, let's do this mine and try to reach this area. Oh, I see. Uh, can I do this? I want the water to spill out this way because this is already sealed. I think I could stand here and do that. And then it doesn't spill out otherwise. And then we could build out everything down here. Nice. So the bad news is that that pushes up a lot of the seal too. Damn, nine kilograms. Talk about pop eardrums, dude. Okay. So this is gonna push up the water. Please don't delete the water. <laughs> Please don't delete the water when you build out the tile. Please push it up. Something. Yes, it got pushed to the right. This might get pushed up. Yep, it does. Nice. 
All right, so let's mop this up. No, that's going to accumulate water again. Feels bad, man. We're going to have to mop one more time. All right, research is done. Let's grab simple automation. Also get the uh, meal hall so that we could build some morale management. I We really don't need it right now because our morale is actually pretty sweet. But we might as well, you know, preemptively grab that if we can. Let's try to do this. Get some more tiles over here built out. Okay, so it's here. And then a little bit right here. That's really not that bad, though. Should I even try sealing this up? I could try to do something like that. Good morning, what's going on Dead Bifa? I see you over there, how are you? Hope you're doing well, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good old Tuesdays. Tuesdays with your boy too legit, how are you man? Hope you are doing well. Alright, we can mine this out now. So I could delete all this seal too. You have a shine bug. Oh, what a bastard. How'd this guy get in? How'd this guy get in? Oh, that's going to be such a pain, dude. <laughs> that's going to be... Oh, it's already such a pain. Original Moo, I see you over there. Thanks for letting me know. That sucks. He's ruined... He, he just got born though. Right? He just got hatched. So... He hatched in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to remove him soon. Citrus gets Abyssalite Mining. Critter needs to get a uh, building. We gotta wait for the Rancher to get a skill. I guess I can preemptively build this now, though. Sneak level 9000. Dude, he snuck in as an egg, dude. We didn't think that was possible. He's just rolling around, dude. Egg form? Man, that stuff is insane. Alright, so I'm gonna actually delete this. I think that's a good idea. Nine kilograms of CO2? I'm just gonna delete it. <laughs> I feel like that's a smart idea, and this is a rare opportunity. We, we spilled in water in a gap, and it condensed all the CO2 into a tile. It's not impossible, that's true. It's not impossible. Rolling eggs. But having that being controlled by the thing inside the eggs, by the yolks, that seems a little bit out of the question. Like, come on, man. The yolks be controlling the uh, the movement. Alright, we got both of those. Uh, grab flower pots, maybe. Maybe aqua tuner. I will grab the Electrolyzer, actually. Alright, so we're going to seal this up because we can. We'll leave this open because it's not that bad. And then I shouldn't have to worry about temperature leak inside. And then we start moving outside and start utilizing the area. Now, this seems to be, yeah, hitting max pressure every so often. So we're not really too bad on oxygen right now. Maybe some of the lower levels, that's about it. Let's also do this so that we could try to mine or uh, build out all the tiles. And then once the rancher gets the ranching skill to wrangle, we'll move out the uh, little shine nymph. That means we'll have to spend one night with the light on, dude. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Gotta leave the light on. Hate to see it. So it's one, two, three, four. Oh, this is all breachable from the bottom. Okay, that's sweet. Remove this. Work on this side. We could go straight through to start this side early. That will, of course, introduce more CO2 or uh, chlorine, which is not that great, but it should be fine. Check to see if there are more eggs if we kill the baby. Oh, critter overlay. 
one critter. Okay. And that counts eggs, I believe. Wait, does this count eggs? No, it's just critters, right? Not the eggs. Another one on the corner. Now nah, we're good. We're good. We're gonna be fine. Let's turn off the alarm for this. I don't need to have that show up. Research is done. Uh, I could preemptively get the salinator. That's actually not too bad. I just kill it, but that's me. No man, let the babies live. If you take four shine nymph eggs, you get one omelet, which is probably not even worth it to be honest. But it's something. <laughs> it's something though, right? With the power of four shine bug eggs, you get one omelet. Oh yeah, we can't wrangle the baby. I have to wait for him to grow up. Oh, that's five cycles. <laughs> I'm actually contemplating. We got to kill him now, boys. Yeah, we can't wrangle babies. I actually just said that. Yeah, we, we're going to have to kill him. I don't want to kill him though, man. That's messed up. We could be feeding him the phosphorus. Phosphorite. Is it better to kill? It might be. But I mean, I don't even have like long travel time right now. So I don't think it's that big of a deal, but that's just me. Come on, little, little shine nymph. Why did you have to be such a pain? All right, he's two years old. Three cycles is not bad. It's not bad. Just three cycles, right? Nice. We deleted seal two. We don't kill shine bugs here. Yeah, man. The critters get to live along with us. This is going to be an animal sanctuary. Everyone's going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. Are we? I don't know, man. I said that for the memes. I don't know if we'll actually go through with it. <laughs> Off the bed. Good luck surviving. Thank you, Tom of Twitch. Have a good night. We'll see you next time. Rest always easy, my friend. Rest well, rest easy. All right, gonna deconstruct that so that the water flows down. Oh, natural gas. Okay, we're gonna have to go this direction now, boys. We have to seal this up. We're gonna have to uh, go in. I mean, it's gonna overpressure soon. Actually, before I can actually reach there, so it should be fine. It's a small circle. It's already active. Yeah, it's gonna overpressure soon. Open the door, hope it flies out. I guess we can. Oh, I don't have a signal switch ready because I don't have refined metal. It's going to fly out and fly back in, dude. The classic. That's what's going to happen. All right. I don't have a cook. I will say that. I don't have a cook and I don't have a decorator. So I think we take Jean. We'll take Jean. All right. So Jean, you're not allowed to decorate, but you're going to be the uh, priority cook. And then you have farming. You can do farming as well. Sweet. So we'll let you decorate after we send you to art school. But before that, I don't know, man. Don't know if we should send you out. All right. Five more mulewood plants because of, uh, you know, an extra dupe. If you guys didn't know, we're doing five mealwood per dupe because mealwood takes three days to regrow. Each dupe is a thousand kcals per cycle. We get 600 kcals per cycle. So, three cycles, 3,000 kcals. 600 divided by 3,000 is 5. 5 times 600, 3,000. So, that's going to be the simple math we do in order to find out the food balance. Now, of course, we want to make sure they only eat the meal lice. So we have to make sure it's not consuming anything else. 13 kcals of nutrient bars. No one's eating the crumbs, but everyone else is okay. No one's allowed to eat muckroot yet. Should be good. Do we have enough mealwood seeds would be another question. This is pressurized yet? Yeah, it's it's going to pressurize actually. Yep. So we don't have to seal that up. I will seal it up though once we get there. Any natural gas in the area we could use, but it's not going to be a lot. So I'm probably not going to build a natural gas gen. I'll probably just delete the gas or something. Just so that it's not in the way for, uh, you know, CO2 at the bottom. 
Okay, so with the desalinator tack, I could start going for rad bolt tack. Because that could be something I go for. Oh, I need refined metal. Let's go for dispenser. I need to get the rock crusher. Look at this guy, man. He's staying in the room. Feels bad, man. Don't know what he's doing. All right, we're at to mine these tiles out. And then we're going to mine these tiles here. And then we're going to do the setup. We're going to deconstruct and build the tile there. Probably do a diagonal like that. It's kind of weird. Should be fine, though. And then we'll have to get one ladder here. I don't have, uh, what do you call that? The mod's called DGSM, right? And that mod allows me to select specifically the start of my dupes. But because of the new, the new update that came out recently, that mod's broken. So I had to manually roll out my dupes. 